Hi YouTube world, it's Swoozy. And I feel like a bit of a hypocrite today because I'm coming to you with a video that in a lot of respects is the antithesis of a lot of things I've talked about in my videos regarding influencers. So let me just jump right in here, okay? And give you all the backstory. So I was contacted by a company called I'm gonna say Ana Luisa. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And here's the funny thing. So when I get these emails, my MO is to delete or ignore. And that's what I've been doing this last year because I've been sporadic with my videos and just haven't been, you know, wasn't feeling it. So that's what I did with this one. I ignored and they contacted me again and were like, let us give us you a little more detail. So I thought I better respond to this. And I literally responded and said, hey, I quote, I don't play the influencer game. And, you know, basically kind of said, I'm really small. I don't upload videos regularly anymore. Basically shutting it down. They came back and were like, that's okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it was for jewelry. So I love jewelry. And I was like, you know what? You want to give me free jewelry? I will take free jewelry. Um, I am not being paid. I made it very clear to them. I do not want compensation. I don't want a code. I don't want any kickback. Uh, but I would take the jewelry. I would say what I want to say. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So let me just get into share with you what I have. So I picked out a few pieces and they sent me two. And this is one of the things that they sent are these earrings. Uh, let's just start with silly little things that I actually kind of um, liked when I got the package. So it comes in this cute little box. I don't know why, I just thought the box was so dang cute. And when I opened it up, it's packaged in these cute little like um, canvassy, I want to say it almost makes me think of like a canvas, a heavy, do I want to say broadcloth type material. And oh my gosh, again, I'm talking about the stupid things right now. These closures are magnetic. Did you hear that? They're magnetic closures. I was, okay, right here. I was just impressed with this. I was like, they didn't even have to have jewelry in there. I was just really impressed with these little pouches because I'm weird that way. So they sent me two pairs of pairs, pairs. They sent me two pairs of earrings. And they're on these little cards. And when you pull it out, it's on this card. And this is one of the pairs that I bought. And what I do want to say is this. One of the reasons I agreed to do this. Okay, hold on. Something's going on with Monroe. Just a minute. Ugh. Okay, I think he's okay. I think it's just like a hairball, but if you're one of my regulars who's been with me, you know, because of his um, issues, my first thought was, oh my God, he can't breathe. Uh, but I'm 99% sure it's a hairball, okay? <laughs> oh my, this is not the video that they did not pay for. <laughs> okay, so what was I saying? Oh, I know what I was saying. So one of the reasons I agreed to do this was because I have these earrings that I got at Nordstrom several years ago and I love. These are my go-tos, they've never tarnished. I love them. I've been having trouble closing them lately. I think they might be you know, near the end of their life, so to say. So the idea was that these were supposed to replace. Now these are a little bit smaller, as you can see. But um, one of the other things I like, let me pull one off here, is I like, it's the hinged style. And of course now I'm not going to be able to do it. What the heck? There we go. So I really like that it's that hinge style. I think that's really nice, really easy. Um, I love the idea that I don't have to worry about losing a back because I'm really good about that. Now when I did go on the website, one of the things that I noticed is they are gold plated. I believe it said 14 karat gold plated. Now I'm going to just be, let me just lay this on the table and this is not what they want me to say. I am a jewelry snob, okay? I just am. Um, and I don't like, you know, I'm really funny about costume jewelry too, especially at, I guess, certain price points. So I was sort of like, okay, we're going to see what this looks like because 
in my world, this is costume jewelry, okay? It just is. And that's why I think I was so impressed with this. And I've been wearing the earrings, and I will say the ones I have on are like a really good weight. Um, even these, it's, um, I wouldn't say they're super, I because you know how sometimes this stuff just feels like tin? It just feels cheap. Um, and I actually had that experience not too long ago. I'm going to go ahead and share it with you because it kind of plays into this. So a few months ago, I saw one of the big YouTubers in our community. This is why the whole influencer thing kind of ticks me off sometimes. And they were touting some jewelry like this, costume jewelry. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to buy because I would really like. And I have to be honest, when I got it, I pulled it out of the package and my first thought, what cheap bleep is this? That was my very first thought. And I'm going to even show you because I have not had this that long. Um, and this is from another company, okay? But I don't know if you can see, it has started to tarnish. Um, it reminds me of stuff that you would buy at like a really rinky-dink mall cheapo store. And I was really pissed for the price I paid for this. And I basically can't wear it anymore because it is um, actually causing a reaction on my neck. So when I got this stuff, I was pleasantly surprised at the initial my initial response to the quality I was pleasantly surprised so these came in another they came in their individual pouches okay they could have stuck it all in the same pouch this one came in this I don't know why it came in this bigger pouch to be honest okay but and it was on the little card like that and what I did because when I got this I thought okay is this really how it comes or was this something that they do for influencers? You know, make it look really impressive and then if you actually order it, it comes in like a little plastic bag. So I went ahead and ordered, um, like paid for, ordered um, a necklace. And it sure enough, it came in this cute little pouch, just like the stuff that they sent me. Now this is the necklace um, I ordered this. I did. I'm going to be really honest. I'm going to be really honest. I don't want to spend a lot, okay? And the prices on this stuff is um, it was on sale, and I will look up what I paid and put it here. I want to say it was somewhere between forty and sixty dollars, okay? And I would have really liked a layered necklace, but the layered necklace um, was like more was kind of up there, and by up there. I think I'm saying 60 plus, um, maybe closer to like 80, something like that. And I, I'm going to just tell you, I'm going to be really honest. I don't pay that for costume jewelry, okay? Um, I will pay for real jewelry, okay? Like, you know, you go into a jewelry store, jewelry with like a magnifying and carrot weight and stuff like that. I, I am not a fan of paying over a certain price point for something that's gonna do this over time. I'm just not a big fan of that. It ticks me off. Um, and I can't remember if this stuff, that other brand, I can't remember the details on it, but I'm hoping that because it is gold plated, um, I do think it is, oh, what did it say was inside? It was over, was it over brass? Is that possible? I gotta check but my when I got this, I was like, okay, you know, I was impressed that it came the exact same way the free stuff came. Um, I thought quality-wise, it wasn't bad. Uh, my one complaint with the necklace, and I, I've been layering this necklace with stuff, and I have to be really honest. I have not had any reaction to the earrings, okay? And I think it's because they have stainless posts. I have worn this necklace a couple times layered with other stuff. Here's the problem. I'm not sure if it's this necklace because I'm layering it with some really cheap stuff. So I, I have a feeling that when I get itchy, it's because of the other stuff I'm putting on with it. 
but you know it has the extender which is nice because I think it goes up to 19 inches at the longest and it's just like this kind of I don't know it's a coin thing now remember I bought this one okay I kind of wanted something medallion it's smaller I mean they did have the dimensions it's smaller than I would have liked my one issue and my nails are too long right now I need to go have my dip redone but um, I am just I'm sorry I'm just gonna go here I am getting to a point in my life where I need a bigger clasp I just especially once I have nails and I don't have you know I don't have somebody you know the cat and the dog cannot help me with this um, but putting this on myself is very challenging I'm gonna be really honest um, and I don't know wait a minute did I get it oh I think I I think I got it I think I actually got it okay oh it's gonna stay on now because I got it on um, so there it is and I think that's in the longest one um, so that's you know I I don't know I sometimes would like a little bigger clasp so it's a little bit easier for me to operate um, how well is this going to hold up now i really hope i'm really hoping because i really like the weight of these and by weight i don't mean heavy i don't mean you know pulling my ear but i just hate things that feel like tin i just hate that aluminum foil feel to jewelry and um so i'm hoping that they're going to hold up well i you know how well is this going to hold up i mean you know you can tell it looks like gold and everything but how long will it take for the gold to wear off? I don't know. Um, I haven't had it long enough. I have had it for, whoops, where is it? I can't find it. I have had it for a couple weeks and I've tried wearing it as much as possible. I do not wear my jewelry. I don't put my hands in the sink. I always take it off. I mean, obviously, but I mean, I don't shower in this stuff or anything like that. Um, now here's the thing. When I talked about price point that I will not pay for costume jewelry, I do believe there's a really good sale going on right now. I get nothing, okay, other than the two pairs of earrings, okay? They sent me two pairs of earrings. Um, that's what I got. Uh, but if you click on the link, I, I ain't getting nothing, okay? I'm not getting anything from that. So you click away, okay? But I think they've got a really good sale going right now. I will link, they sent me a link. I'll put the link below for you. And um, so far, you know, I guess for quality costume jewelry, um, it's, you know, I, I was, I, I'm really impressed with the earrings. I'm going to say that. I'm very impressed with the earrings. Uh, the necklace is nice. It feels like, I will say the chain, a lot of it feels like the real jewelry I have. Uh, the, the real gold jewelry that I have so that's a bonus to me it doesn't feel like it's not like oh my god I, I didn't let me just say this I didn't pull it out of this and go oh my god what kind of bleep is this you know like I did with this thing when I pulled this out my first reaction was not good okay it just was not good <laughs> So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to tell you because there's nothing I need to tell you because, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just throwing this in here. I think one of the reasons I don't generally do this is because I am very anti-authoritarian. I am one of those people who's like, nobody's telling me what to do. Nobody's telling me what to say. <laughs> I can't help it it's just the way I am which is so ironic because I spent my career as a teacher where I'm telling people what to do but when I'm the authority, you're going to do what I say. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the way I am. I can't help it. So Anna Luisa, um, I'll hold this up so you can see. Uh, really impressed with um, the shipping. Really impressed with the packaging. I will say, oh, I do want to say this. This was, even though it came in a thing that had a little pouch for the chain, um, I did, it was knotted. I had to unknot it. So I do want to comment on that. It was knotted up, which was kind of annoying uh, because there's nothing worse when you can't see and you have to wear glasses trying to unknot um, a chain on a necklace. But I mean, so far, um, really loving the earrings, like I said, so far, 
enjoying it and um, like I said I think there's a good sale if you want quality and I, I know I keep doing this but I just I'm a jewelry snob okay I just am but if you want quality costume jewelry um, I know what that I personally think is at a quality price I mean I do think I, I just um, I don't understand certain price points for costume I just don't okay I, that's not my world but they are having a sale so you can get that you can get it for less and I'm always like save a buck if you can save a buck save a buck thanks for watching and as always ladies and gentlemen subscribe because we deserve to reclaim our sexy because age wisdom and confidence are damn sexy bye